Secure the mainsail. All hands, brace the yard arm. Aye, Captain. Hold fast. Higgsfield has a new storyboard tool called Popcorn, which lets you upload reference images and create multi-shot scenes with consistent characters, settings, and styles. I love this sort of thing. So I wanted to test it out, not just to make a storyboard, but make an entire short film all within Higgsfield. So I'm going to star in a little sea adventure using this selfie and this outfit that I generated in Higgsfield. Here's a sneak preview of the movie, and I'll show the whole movie at the end. Storm coming! So here's what I did. I went to Higgsfield Popcorn and uploaded both images. You can add up to four images, but think of the storyboards this way. You have eight slots and each reference image takes up a slot. So because I have two images, I can create six scenes. And I'll show you a hack later to get around this limitation. So this is my story in six scenes. Basically, I'm on the deck of the ship wearing that outfit. Then a storm rolls in at night. I've been thrown from the ship and I'm swimming in choppy water, trying to avoid drowning. Fortunately, I cling to a piece of the shipwreck, get washed ashore, then realize I'm on a stranded island. And there's a little punchline I say at the end to hopefully make it funny. All right, let's see what we get with this first round. I like these shots. I'm not wearing glasses in this shot, so I'll add that to the prompt to ensure that detail gets picked up. I mentioned clinging to the shipwreck, so I think it's confused and thinks I'm still on the ship. So I'll clarify that in the prompt. This palm tree isn't exactly what I had in mind, but I guess it sort of matches the prompt. So I'm gonna redo that one as well. This sort of iteration is just part of the generate iterate process where I need to refine my prompt based on the results I'm seeing. Uh-oh, uh there is a light here and I don't want that light in the shot. So I'm gonna click edit. I'll choose this brush and paint over the light. I'll just type a prompt that says remove the light and make sure I'm using the same aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And now the light is gone. I like that it kept this little detail. I don't know anything about ships, but this looks like it should be there to like wrap ropes around or something. Now, before I show the video in lip sync, here's the little hack I mentioned earlier. I can generate an image of me wearing that outfit. Once I get one I like, I can add it to popcorn. To do that, we click use in popcorn, and now it loads that as a new character reference image. So you can use multiple images to create a character and then use that image as a single reference in popcorn. This is a good strategy if you have a lot of references but want a longer storyboard. Ah, yes, that makes sense. Now I'm gonna go through and pick my favorite shots from the storyboards I generated. In addition to Higgsfield's own models, I can choose from a variety of models here. There's Sora, Vio, Juan, Kling, Hilo. And for this opening shot, I think I'll need 10 seconds so I can fit the dialogue in. So I'm gonna to switch to Kling since it has 10 seconds. So I wanna have sound effects in this. In order to do that, I'm gonna use one of the models that includes audio. In this case, WAN 2.5. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other shots. Just to recap that process again, if you're on the video page, click Higgsfield Popcorn, click your project thumbnail over here, find the image you wanna turn into a video, click animate, pick your model, and add a prompt if you want then generate it. Or you can just download all of the images into a folder and then upload them that way too. That's how you can turn all of your storyboard shots into videos. But what if you want the characters to speak? Let's look at three ways of doing this. One is lip syncing an image. The second is lip syncing a video. And the last is using a video model that supports audio like WAN 2.5. For this first one, we're gonna do image to video. So we'll take one of our storyboard images and we'll use text to speech to sync the voice to that. I'll select my model and then I'll choose my image and then I'll click on audio to pick my speaker and enter the text I want them to say. 
This guy's a little too much for me. Okay. So basically. Yeah, he's too much. So I'm going to pick another speaker over here. And um, I'm going to choose this old male Oscar. So I'm going to pick him. Okay. So basically what our business does. Yeah, he's a little bit more chill. I've entered the text that I want him to say. And then I'm going to click generate. I'm off to a new land, far away from everyone I know. So once I have his audio, I can click it here and that will assign it to this section here. So now I see it says Oscar and I can see the text right here. So I can put a prompt in here if I want to have a certain camera motion or there's something in the environment I want to call out. I'm off to a new land, far away from everyone I know, where I will start a new life. Okay, and now let's go back to the model and let's choose one of these video ones. So I'm gonna choose Sync Lip Sync 2 Pro. I'm gonna do one where I keep the audio from Oscar and then I'm gonna do one with my own voice to highlight my amazing acting abilities. First, let's upload the 10 second video that we generated earlier with Kling. This is nice because we can actually see the video in this preview window here. We'll keep the Oscar audio. We've got Sync Lip Sync 2 Pro. And if we want, we can adjust these. This one is called the temperature. So if we have them lower, it's going to be more subtle. If we go this way, it's going to be more expressive. So um, it was at five. I'm just going to move it up to maybe like seven. And then let's generate this one. I'm off to a new land, far away from everyone I know, where I will start a new life. And now I'll do the version using the audio from me. So I'm going to get rid of this Oscar audio. All right, so I'll upload my audio. It's going to bring me back to the same window, but I'm going to click over here to upload and then I'll upload it here. And then I choose it here. So it's kind of highlighted green. I just click it and now it adds it here. So let's see how this one works. I'm off to a new land, far away from everyone I know, where I will start a new life. I'm not really sure what accent that is. It's like old movie accent, maybe. And then for this last one, we're going to go back to the video, choose one 2.5. We'll add a starting image. So I've got my starting image. I've got a prompt in here that includes the dialogue. So I'm on one 2.5 fast. And I can see here that it has audio. So these don't have audio. These do. I'll change it to 10 seconds. And for this one, I'll do 1080p. Why not? All right, let's see how this turns out. I'm off to a new land, far away from everyone I know, where I will start a new life. All right, here's another cool thing you can do with your storyboard images from Higgsfield Popcorn. In the video options, there's Google VO 3.1. And now we have the option to do a start frame and end frame. So the one thing that's nice about the consistency that you get in popcorn is that it's easier to do these start frame end frame animations. So the beach looks very similar. His outfit looks very similar. So it's really easy for us to either start here on the close up and zoom out, which we can do that really quick. This is not what I had in mind. Or we can flip the order and then change the prompt. So instead of having the camera hold for a moment, then zooming out, we're going to zoom in and then he's going to speak. This is not what I had in mind. From my one really bad selfie, I was able to use popcorn to generate storyboards with a consistent character and a consistent style. I turned those storyboard images into videos and lip synced two of my storyboard shots for the opening and closing monologues. I'm off to a new land. That's how to use Higgsfield popcorn to make storyboards that let you create cinematic movies with consistency. There's a link in the description, so go check it out and start making movies. All right, now for the moment you've been waiting for. Here's the movie that we made with Higgsfield popcorn storyboard images. I ended up using VO 3.1 in Higgsfield just because the quality and the sound ended up being so much better. So if you're going to make a movie in Higgsfield with talking and sound effects, I think VO 3.1 is the best way to go right now at least. All right, here is my seafaring deserted island adventure. Enjoy. 
I'm off to a new land, far away from everyone I know, where I will start a new life. Storm coming! This is not what I had in mind. 